everybody! Happy Thursday! I guess you can say, um, please pardon me. I, Storm and I went to the exchange and ate at the food court for lunch and went grocery shopping. And then I put the groceries in the SUV and then went to the exchange. Well, yeah, we went to the We ate. So we went to the commissary. Put everything back in the SUV, and then we went back into the exchange to get coke on sale and sell. And then I also needed um, some like other items. Um, for all of you guys who doesn't know what I'm talking about, the exchange and the commissary. My husband is in the navy. Um, I state this every time because I don't know if it's new people watching videos and they don't understand. So I'm kind of just re-explaining it. So my husband's in the navy, and for our grocery store. It is called the commissary. Um, other branches may call it different things. I'm not sure. And then our exchange is kind of like a Target and a department store and like a Sears combined or something. It has everything from dish soap to uh, juicy purses, coach purses. I get all of my makeup from there pretty much, my Estee Lauder Lancome because it's tax free and it's a couple dollars cheaper than you going out in town. So um, pretty much had a busy day today. But I want to share with you a product that I really, really have been loving. I've noticed when I wash my hair with it every single time, it just makes my hair shinier softer, a lot better because as you know, I did have my hair like blonde highlights and now um, it's all knotted, I'm pretty sure. Um, I dyed it like a dark brown. So of course there's, it's damaged. You know, it's split ends. I need to go get a trim. I'm going to go get a trim probably about a week or two because I do want my hair to be, grow out, but I also need to get a trim because it's just really frustrating. I'm just gonna get like an inch off, I guess. So this is what it is. It's the L'Oreal Everstrong shampoo. And I was just standing there and I was just like, I went back from the expensive shampoos, you know, like the the um Fukai and the uh, Matrix and stuff like that, back and forth from that to like the cheaper um shampoos. And like I just don't wanna pay right now, you know. $15 for a shampoo. I just don't want to do that right now. I have a very good conditioner right now in my shower that is from Bedhead, TG Bedhead, and it's for when I had highlighted hair, but it does the same thing. It's um, really moisturizing. I just put it on my ends and stuff. It's really good. So I don't need a conditioner. I'm just, because it's a huge pump bottle. So I'm just needing shampoos. And I'm already out of the other shampoo, so. So I went ahead and found this one. So yeah, I already was. I'm already ran out of it, so I had to get one more. Um, and it's. I've just noticed. It says it's sulfate free, sulfate free. Um, the one I had before is for volume. This is a reconstructed shampoo. So um, it's pretty much the same. Like it's the same scent and everything. But I've noticed every using this started using the L'Oreal Everstrong stuff, my hair has been more manageable because it was starting to get like just stringy and just because I have very thin hair. I do not have thick hair at all. It's very um, like thin. I mean, I have a breast hair. We just got back and I threw everything away. So my hair looks a mess right now. But, um, and then I started using this shampoo and every time I do my hair, it was just so soft, so smooth. So shiny, so like really nice. It's just great. So if you guys are if anybody's having problems with their hair or anything, I would go ahead and give this a try. Um, I didn't use a coupon for anything yet. I just bought it for you there. So that's it. And then also I went to you know got that exchange and then I was out of dish soap and I also used the dish soap for the dishwasher. I just am not gonna write separately. So they had these on sale, two for five dollars, and they're the large ones, the 24 fluid ounces, and they were two for five, so I kind of snagged those up, I was like, that's, to me that seems 
like a good deal, so. Two fifty each, and that's really good. But yeah, that's all. I did order something from Best Body Works during that whole like free gift, you know, where you got the I don't know if you guys knew, but they were doing the free gift thing also online for the Paris party. So I ordered some Japanese Cherry Blossom Lotion, Dark Kiss Shower Gel, Dark Kiss Body Spray, and my tea light. And then I got that gift for free with the candle, the um, body lotion, and the sanitizer and the holder. I got that for free. I just really didn't feel like, I didn't think that was, you know, it was, it was just kind of, it wasn't like, a, oh, like, or anything. I just, I basically just ordered stuff because I needed the tea lights and then for a dollar shipping you had to order, it had to be $25 or more and then to get the free gift you had to buy a signature collection item. So basically that's why I got that is so I can get the dollar shipping and the gift because I wanted the little gift. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting very impatiently for the candles to go on sale at Bath and Body Works. I wish they would do it soon. I was hoping for this week. Um, so I can kind of stock up and everything. I wanted to get like at least four candles. I am not going to pay full price again for a candle. I got the lavender vanilla candle. You know, and stuff like that. But I already used it. And it's just, I don't want to pay $20 for another candle. You know, I, I really want them to go on sale soon. I don't understand. So, I'm hoping they're going to go and sell Labor Day weekend. I hope so. I have money set aside for that, and I'm hoping they'll go and sell. I really, really am. So, I'm going to get some cinnamon pumpkin leaves, pumpkin cupcakes, autumn, and some cucumber latkes. <laughs> There's so many that I want. The cotton one smells really good too. That'd be good for my laundry room or something. So that's all. Nothing crazy. Um, if you guys have any like requests for a video to do, just go ahead and. Well, you know what? I did have one request request for a video. How it is to be like a military wife. So I guess I'll do that. It's not gonna be long right now. So. I don't really know what they want to know. All I know is, you know, we we do move every three to four years, which is good. I mean, it's nice. Then it's annoying because you make friends, and then you have to leave them, and you have to make new friends. Like, we've only been here for about two and a half months, I guess you can say. So I really won't start making friends, probably, until school starts school until September. Um... I kind of get the first couple of months of, I would say the first year at a new duty station is the worst for me because I get really, like, I don't want to make friends. <laughs> I like the friends I had. I get really, um, like, I don't know how to explain it. I get really, like, I don't know. I get... Sad. I get homesick in a sense like that, and then after the first year, I kind of get over it. So, but I really have started getting over a lot quicker because I also have people here that um, just transferred to from Great Lakes that I was already friends with. So there's three people that I know already here, so that really helps. And then I do have my father and my stepmom, and I have my aunt, uncle, and cousins here. So that really helps, but family doesn't really um, get it, you know, understand what it is to be like away from um, my husband for a long period of, time, period of time. And another thing is I will not tell you when he's here, when he's not here. I will not tell you when he deploys, when he doesn't deploy because that's just not safe and I can't do that. Um, so... You become very independent. I become pretty much like a single parent. Um, you get in that mode where you kind of have to do everything. Like right now, I have, he gave, you know, I have to do all the bills and stuff like that. And um, it's empowering but stressful too. So, I don't know. 
but I cut the grass now because he's always at work. Um, and, and this is called Speed Duty. So I will state he is home and not home, um, but I will never tell you when or anything like that because it's just not safe and I can't do that again. I'm not doing that again. Um, and everybody thinks the military gets paid so much money. <laughs> It's so not true. Oh my gosh. So not true. Trust me. We get paid a good amount. Yes. But it's not worth my husband being gone for eight months to a year at a time. It's not worth that at all. I'd rather have him here. Obviously. Um, it is good. I'm definitely a stronger person, so you know, as being a military wife, you definitely, um, there's some that can hack it, and there's some that just can't, and the people that can't they end up getting divorced or split up or whatever. I mean, I think it really helps that I was kind of raised in a military family. My stepdad was Navy, my father was Navy, so I kind of already uh, understand it, I get it, it's a lot harder, I think, for the women. I don't, we're not raised around it, not raised in it. I was pretty, I was raised in it, so. That's all I know, you know. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions, like a direct question about what it's like, um, you know, you can ask me, but if you're trying to join the military, I'm not a recruiter. I've had so many comments of asking me what to do. I'm not a recruiter. You really need to find a recruiter and talk to them. Um, like, so. People will watch my military house tour videos and they think for some reason I'm like a recruiter. I know. If you have like questions about joining the military, you need to talk to a recruiter because I'm not, you know, I'm not that. <coughs> Just being kind. But otherwise, I'm happy. I love being, you know, husband being in the military. I'm so proud of him. Incredibly proud of him. Um, it's fun. It's fun when I will go visit him on the ship. And, you know, you know, it's just, it's, that's cool. But, um, yeah. So if you guys have any direct questions, just comment me, comment or message me. And once again, if they're rude comments or anything like that, I'll delete it and then block you. So. And, um, yeah, that's all. And if you want to know, yes, he's in the Navy and my husband is a, a gunner's mate chief. <coughs> uh, that's probably my throat or something. So, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what else to say. So I'll talk to you guys later, and again, if you have any questions, comment, if you have any suggestions, any kind of videos you want to see, just comment me, message me, or whatever you want to do, and hope you guys have a good rest of the week and a good weekend. Talk to you guys later. Bye.